In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to configure a hosted zone in AWS. By Amazon's definition, a hosted zone is a collection of resource record sets for a specified domain. So basically, you create a hosted zone for a particular domain, and then you create resource record sets to tell the domain name system how you want traffic to be routed for that domain. So basically, this is how you configure DNS rules in AWS. A prerequisite to this video is that you have the following three items an EC2 instance on AWS, an elastic IP address associated with your EC2 instance, and a domain name registered with AWS Route 53. Now I have videos for each of these items already published, so be sure to check those out and follow the instructions there before following this video. So if you follow those videos, we now have an EC2 instance that has an associated elastic IP address, and separately we have a registered domain name. Now we want to configure AWS to route traffic that comes in for our domain name to the Elastic IP associated with our instance. This is going to be done using an AWS hosted zone, and we're going to demonstrate the process of actually configuring that hosted zone now. So currently I'm in my AWS console. If you're elsewhere within AWS, you can get back to your console by clicking on this cube to the left here. And once we're in this console, we're going to go to Route 53. So I have that here under my recently visited services, but if we scroll down, it is also under Networking and Content Delivery. Route 53. Now we're in the Route 53 dashboard. We're going to navigate to the hosted zone section on the left. And now the domain name that you've configured should show up here in this table. So click your domain name. And then you want to create record set. So we get this window that pops up on the right hand side. Now the name field is for you to enter a prefix for your domain name, so www. for example, or you can just leave it blank if you want your website to be accessed without a prefix. And then in the value field, you want to paste in your Elastic IP address that has already been associated with your EC2 instance. Now once you've done that, you just hit the create button here, and then it's going to create an entry in this table to the left. So if we look, I've already done that here. Here is my domain name and here is my Elastic IP address that is bound to my EC2 instance. Now the final step to make sure that you got this set up correctly is if you have a web server that was running on this address previously, then instead of browsing to this address like you would have done in the past, you want to take your domain name now, paste it into your browser and browse to that to make sure that you are indeed getting routed to this EC2 instance. And that's all there is to it for creating a hosted zone in AWS for your domain name. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. Thanks for watching.